Okay, we're going to start talking about linear characteristics right now. We're going to start with the most important characteristic, which is talk about the parent function for every linear function. So, first of all, we're going to define what is the parent function. Well, the parent function in this case, as we're talking about linear, will be the most basic linear function. Now we can say basic, we can say simple, but what the point is, it, this is going to be the linear function that is the base for all the other linear functions. So here you have the graph. How does the linear parent function look like? This is exactly that graph. But then we have the equation. Well, the equation for the linear parent function is y equals x. Now, if we remember our y equals mx plus b, we can tell that the slope of this line is 1. Now, if you don't remember, we can do rise over run, pick two points, do rise over run, and we're going to have 1 over 1. That's how we know that the slope is 1. Second, the y-intercept The y -intercept happens to be the number that is next to the x. So right here we have nothing, well, that means that it's a 0. Or you can look that the line touches the y-axis exactly as 0. So the y-intercept is 0. Direction. Well, that's easy to see that the line is going up. Or we can see that our slope is a positive. So direction up. And the domain. So when it comes to domain, we need to remember that domain is all possible x values. So here in the graph, I know that my line is going up and down. And then at the same time, it's going to continue, never stopping. So if I want to see how further to the left is going to go and how further to the right is going to go, I will notice that is never going to stop in either direction. So we can say that the domain is from negative infinity to infinity, or all real numbers. When it comes to the range, it's basically the same idea, but now we're going to focus on the y-axis. So this is going down and up. It's never going to stop going down. It's never going to stop going up. So when it comes to the range, all possible y values is going to go from negative infinity to infinity or all real numbers. So what we have right here is some examples about linear functions. Now, one of the things that you need to remember about why the linear parent function is so important is because it takes it tells you that every time you have an x to the first power in any equation, you don't need to actually graph it to know that it's going to be linear. Uh, the line, linear, is a straight line with no curve, so it's a straight line that you can draw with a ruler. And usually you're going to find it in perimeter problems, direct variation, arithmetic sequences. They are all going to be linear. And here we have these examples. This is what we were saying. Look at your x's. All of them have an exponent of 1, invisible 1. So therefore, I don't need to check them. I know they're all going to be straight lines. Some of them are going to be more flatter. Some are going to be very steep. Some are going to have a different y-intercept. But at the end, all of them are going to be a straight line.